All right, in this video, we look at how we install Linux using Bazite for the NVIDIA uh, equivalent. So here, I had some success with the Bazite on my mini PC. So now I'm trying it on my desktop here. This is my main gaming PC with an NVIDIA RTX 4070. So first, we'll start with going to Bazite and downloading the specific ISO that has those baked in drivers. Make sure you select your primary GPU correctly. And of course, you can choose in you know, a big picture mode if you prefer to have it launched directly into Steam if you do that. Let me click download, wait for the download to complete grab ourselves a quick usb drive here to use it to break a bootable drive i will put that into the computer i'll use here balena etcher as my application of choice for burning that iso to that usb we click select file select our uh, iso file there uh, and load it into balena etcher select a destination drive this is the point you plug the usb into your computer uh, and select that drive as the destination for making that bootable iso and click flash you wait a few minutes here let it run through the flashing process it takes a few minutes to go through that depending on the speed of your usb drive and of course the port that you've plugged it into and then finally we wait for it to validate to ensure that what was written to the bootable usb uh, is indeed correct and there wasn't any issues this part is important i know it's uh, some people may want to skip that but please let it verify what that what is written to the drive is correct versus what was uh, contained in the iso file so once that process is finished here you can you'll see here that uh, Belena etcher will let you know that the flashing process is completed and you're not able to now able to boot from the usb so what we'll do now is restart from windows uh, you don't have to use windows for this process you can use linux if you prefer however i'm using windows here just for ease and you restart into our pc and you want to use your boot menu selection here depending on your bios it may vary from there you choose the usb drive that you've plugged in containing that iso for bazite and we'll see here in a moment we get the grub menu so from here i chose to select install bazite initially this one has the nvidia baked in drivers for the rtx 4070 as I mentioned earlier, we go through the startup processor process here. I, you know, it, it uh, completes all of that stuff successfully. We get into the Bazite installer, and we're at the language selection screen here. So it's at this point that, as I click continue, I get this error, which you know. I do not know why I got this error here. Uh, however, I read through the log here. It's a very comprehensive log file of what's going on. Uh, perhaps I'll need to look at some support from the Bazite forums. But uh, my initial attempt of trying to get this installed with the NVIDIA ISO was not successful. I was a little bit more hopeful, continuing I had had some success recently with my uh, Evo X2 and AMD Strix Halo-based Ryzen Max AI395 Plus uh, mini PC, and that was able to install using the AMD version of the Bazite ISO, uh, and that was indeed successful. Go and check out the previous diaries in this particular series on my channel to see that. I said, well, maybe there was some odd error. Let's just try it one more time. So I quick reboot here, boot up into the installer, and this time we will use the second option, which is says test. Uh, and at that point, it failed here on verifying this uh, USB drive. Now, I don't know why this fails because you're entering the flashing process. It did validate, and this is why I told you guys to pay attention to that. So I'm not really sure what's happening here. However, if you press escape, you can skip this check, this disk check, and it does go through and uh, continue to the installer. So another reboot later selected the usb now this time we decided to boot into the installer once more to say okay well let's just see if we can run through the installer this time perhaps there was an odd error or some unique error which makes less sense for linux because it's more deterministic than you would from a windows uh you know os but it is what it is and again, we're graded to the same error during the installer. As soon as I click continue from the language selection here, uh, this is the error that it displays. Now, one thing I did not do was try to select a different language to see perhaps if it's a combination of the English uh, US and the English language region and language that is causing this issue. So I may start uh, decide to test that out at a later and post an additional update if that seems to make a difference. However, I don't see why you know the language selection process should be uh, a cause for this type of error. Nonetheless, you know, right through the log files again i really couldn't make sense of what to do and of course i'm approaching this from a simple perspective of you've heard so much about linux and linux gaming you've heard about bazite you want to run it onto a usb and you're technical and savvy enough to just you know load it up and go through the installer process and get it installed on your pc 
Anyway, then we decided, well, let's check out the live ISO CD because, you know, that's something that's been in beta for Bazite. Most other Linux distributions allow you to jump right into that live, uh, you know, mode where you can basically run the entire system on your machine from the USB itself. So I said, okay, let's try this, even though it's in beta, uh, you know, perhaps this will give us a better install uh, process. So again, we go through the process here of selecting our ISO, selecting our USB drive, flashing the actual ISO containing the NVIDIA drivers and the live version of Bazite to our flash drive here. Once this is completed, ensure that you take the time for it to validate so whatever it has written of that ISO to your USB drive is indeed complete and correct and has does not contain errors before you boot into the installer uh, at all. So after completing this process here, you know, you know, Etcher lets us know that the process is completed. Once again, we'll reboot our system uh, and from the USB we're going to uh, and try to do the installation again. So we'll restart out of Windows, go into our BIOS boot menu here so we can select our boot device, choose the USB drive once again. And this time you see you get a little bit of a different grub menu. So we go into the live bootable environment uh, and this takes a second here to load, but uh, just uh, give it a moment here, please. And excuse the dusty screen, I really need to wipe that down. Uh, all right, so once we boot in here, it's loading all of the stuff for Bazite. Uh, it's actually quite quickly. This is real time. I haven't sped anything up here. So you'll see that it prepares the system and within literally a few seconds, you're right at the Bazite desktop. Of course, when you load at the or land at the Bazite desktop, you'll see here that the first thing you're greeted with uh, is a message that says that this is a live distribution. Do not use this for gaming. It does not contain the gaming drivers, nor is it tuned for gaming. So this should simply be for a testing scenario right now. Perhaps this will change after the beta phase uh, of, the, of the live CD for Bazite. We'll have to wait and see how that uh, fares uh, with time. So we discuss, dismiss this message here and we see right on the desktop there's an option to install uh, Bazite to your hard drive. I select this option to launch the installer again. Once again, the, the initial screen is the language selection. And as soon as I click continue here, we're greeted again with the same error message or a slight variation of that error message. There is a big log here and I've read through these logs here to try to understand what exactly is happening. Uh, however, I was not uh, I was unsuccessful as trying, uh, trying to be able to remedy this without resorting to forums, uh, Google searches and whatnot, I did carefully go back to the Bazite documentation and read all of the steps for uh, the installation process, you know, looked at the live CD, looked at the specific notes and warnings and highlighted in bold text to make sure that I had not omitted any steps or any crucial information that would help me to successfully get this installed on my second PC now. So two for two, I've had, uh, you know, issues with getting Bazite to install. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe I'm the only one that's having these issues shoes but despite what others have shown on the web, uh, I am not having a smooth experience here with trying to get Bazite installed on either NVIDIA or my AMD uh, IGPU based, uh, APU based mini PC. So that said here, uh, reading through the logs, I was able to just kind of determine that there is indeed some issue that is, is not a quick fix. It's not just something as simple as, uh, you know, plugging in a wire or swapping over a USB. And I did swap over a USB drives. I have two of those, they're identical. So I did swap for this round to a different USB drive, physical drive to say, hey, if there's any corruption issues on the drive itself, maybe that's, that will be resolved. So. After reading through the message, I wasn't able to discern what the quick fix might be, so I decided to restart here and give it, you know, just one more chance to say, okay, perhaps maybe initial load, it needs to uh, prepare something in memory. I don't really know, just, you know, kind of playing uh, playing by ear here. So go back into the Bazite live CD again, and we boot into it uh, a second time. And as you can see here, the boot sequence is pretty quick. Excuse the focusing issues with the camera. I don't know why it was doing that, but uh, some lenses are better than others, I suppose. Uh, anyway, it, we get through this uh, loading process here for the system. It shows up in a few seconds. Mind you, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, even audio, everything was working correctly right out of the box on the live CD. So despite the fact that it's in beta, it's actually in a very, very usable condition. Of course, 
with the exception of gaming itself, which is, uh, you know, ironic considering that this is a gaming focused ISO. But I think that will soon come in the near future. Again, we just dismiss, dismiss these messages. We go to our installer here and launch the installer to get this loaded onto our system so we can actually play some games. By the way, beautiful artwork. I love the look and, and feel of the OS. And again, when you go to the language selection screen, as soon as I click continue, we're greeted yet again with the same error message. So I'm not really sure what's happening here. But as far as this episode is concerned, I'm going to wrap it up here because I did my best to try to get this installed on my NVIDIA based desktop PC. However, I was unsuccessful, but we'll continue to bring you the updates as we go through this Linux gaming journey over the next few episodes in the next few weeks and months. All right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Click like, click subscribe and get click the notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.